Okay, so this is about this book, uh, The Trench Warfare, uh, The Live and Let Live System by Tony Ashworth. And why I've got this out here is I was trying to, I just basically want to try to wrap my head around and also uh, demonstrate to you, uh, hopefully, uh, give you a, an example of the differences between uh, conventional military thinking, I guess you would say, uh, uh, at least the, the way I'm looking at it, of, you know, like aggression, versus the live and let live system. And so let's pretend that these roads are trenches. So this is no man's land, and I'm just going with it, and this is infantry, you know, in their little trench here, and, and you know, uh, the Russians and the Germans are facing each other off here. And let's just say... Um, and like I said, I'm going to show like a comparison. Let's say, I don't know, I'll just say the Russians, uh, this artillery piece fires, decides to fire off and let's say nails this infantry and he's gone. So normal conventional military thinking, at least for my brain or the way uh, I've been playing games, would be, okay, and like how do I now get the Russian artillery to stop firing on the German, on on my German infantry. And the way I would normally do it was I would start like, okay, I either start moving my infantry, you know, to go there or using my, my artillery to start targeting this artillery and so on and so forth. So, you know, that's what I would do. So let's say, and then I would take that and then I would retaliate and we could go back and forth and there would be people getting nailed left, right and center. Um, but the live and let live system from what I've been reading. And like I said, this is just one example. There's a zillion others. And obviously both sides have to play ball. But what, and it's also, it seems that both sides were doing this as well of this three to one uh, retaliatory um, thing. So what you actually do, if the Germans want, um, uh, if the, um, the Germans want the Russians to stop uh, using the artillery on the, on the infantry, what they actually are going to do is do a three to one, so they're going to use all three artillery pieces and start trying to nail as much infantry as possible. What ends up happening, so let's just say that happens, so I'll take off, I'll just take off three. And what ends up happening, from what I've been reading, is the battalion commanders and everybody in here, a brigade and all that stuff, or like, just go with whatever. The infantry, then um, these guys get on the blower to the artillery guys and say, what the hell are you doing? Stop shooting. And that's exactly what ends up happening in, uh, or I should say many times at the live and let live system. So you would actually, like I said, fire there and then these guys would get the hint. And then that's how you get the other side to stop killing your infantry, if that makes any sense. So oh, hopefully this video goes well. Uh, Pop that thing on here again. I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to get, um, wrap my head around different ways of looking at um, the same conflict, I guess, you know. All right, that's it. Hope you're having a great time.